Hi, we'll be playing with the color blend mode in this lesson, which will be divided into three parts. First of all, go to the layers icon and click on the letter N in a layer. You'll see many color modes options. I've made some sample colors to show you how they look when you change the mode. Let's get started. Scroll up above normal mode and you'll find a group of color blends that offer different styles of dark shadow. The normal mode gives us our simple colors. Then we have the light blend modes that provide soft lights to hard lights. This includes the light that allows us to see the brightest color, such as the vivid light. After that, we have a group that allows us to adjust the colors in so many ways. There are so many options to play with. There are no fixed rules about which one you should use. It depends on each person's style and preference. But I'll be sharing with you my personal techniques when I use the color blend mode. I like using the color blend mode to control the light. I'll show you how in a second. First, I'll add a layer and rename it Shadow. Then, I'll choose a gray color. Now let's add some shadows. Choose an airbrush and adjust the brush size based on the object. After that, I'll paint the area where I want it to look darker. It's very convenient. You won't get tired from shading. Just use an airbrush and change the color blend mode to color burn. You can also use the multiply or linear burn mode. Do it the way you like. Reduce the opacity to help it blend well. It's darker and smoother now, see? Now that we've finished the shadow, let's move and add light. Add a layer and rename it, as usual, rename it Light. Then, choose the white color. Choose an airbrush, as usual, and emphasize where you want the light to hit. After you're done, choose the overlay mode, and you can choose soft light or hard light. That's fine too. Then, adjust the opacity as you like. I'll add a bit more light in the front here. Okay, that's it. It's done. Do you notice that it looks brighter now? This is totally up to you. You can choose the other modes if you want. Let's try to turn off and turn on the layers to see the difference. It's quite nice. It's an easy technique that you can use. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. As a thank you, loyal subscribers receive a 10% discount on my Procreate Masterclass. Check the description for coupon code. See you in the next video.